Hello everyone, welcome to Chehit Soft Tech. Let me discuss SAP EWM interview question and answers. What are some common enhancement techniques used in SAP EWM? Answer common enhancement technique include BAD is business add-ins, custom enhancement for specific business processes, user exist, custom coding points to add functionality during standard process execution. Enhancement spots, frameworks for adding custom enhancement without modifying standard code. How would you approach troubleshooting a warehouse task confirmation issue in SAP EWM? Answer to troubleshoot a warehouse task confirmation issue. Check the WT status. Ensure it is open and not already confirmed. Verify stock availability. Ensure sufficient stock is available in the source bin. Review configuration settings. Check task confirmation settings and authorizations. Examine error messages. Analyze system error messages and logs for specific issue. How can you optimize picking operations in SAP EWM? Answer to optimize picking operations. Implement slotting. Place high demand items in easily accessible locations. V use wave picking. Group orders for efficient batch picking. Leverage RF device. Use mobile device for real-time task execution. Analyze performance data. Regularly receive picking performance matrix and adjust processes accordingly how would you configure a put away strategy in sap ewm answer to configure a put away strategy define storage types and sections set up the physical layout of the warehouse configure put away rules establish rules based on product characteristics volume weight and demand assign bin types designate beans for specific types of goods example fast moving assodes implement replenishment settings set criteria for bin replenishment to ensure availability what are the key reports and analytics available in sap ewm answer key reports and analytics include stock overviews current stock levels and locations warehouse activity monitor Monitor warehouse operations and identify bottlenecks. Labor utilization. Analyze workflows, productivity and efficiency. Slotting and replenishment analysis. Evaluate slotting, efficiency and replenishment needs. Explain how SAP EWM handles isodus materials. Answer SAP EWM handles isodus materials through Isodus material master data, storing information and Isodus properties. Storage containers, defining storage types of beans suitable for Isodus materials. Handling instructions, providing guidelines for safe handling and transport. Compliance checks, ensuring adherence to regulatory requirements during warehouse operations. What are storage control and process oriented storage control in SAP EWM? Answer Storage control in SAP EWM determines how and where goods are stored or removed from storage within the warehouse. There are two types of storage control Layout oriented storage control. This controls the physical movement of goods based on warehouse layout and path optimization process oriented storage control this defines specific steps for handling goods through different process stages such as unloading deconsolidation quality inspection and put away what is task interleaving in sap ewm and why is it important answer task interleaving is a practice of combining multiple warehouse tasks example picking put away and replenishment to minimize travel time and improve operate efficiency 
This ensures that warehouse staff are constantly productivity, moving from one task to another without unnecessary travel. Explain how SAP EWM handles written processes. Answer SAP EWM handles written processes through written deliveries, receiving returned goods and updating inventory, quality inspections, assessing the conditions of returned goods, put away, returning goods to their appropriate storage locations or designating them for disposal or rework. How can you customize RF screens in SAP EWM? Answer. Customizing RF screens in SAP EWM involves modifying standard RF screens using transactions code like SCWM RFUI to access and adjust the layout. Creating custom scanners. Developing custom RF screens using SAP ABAP programming and integrating them into the RF framework. Enhancing functionality. Adding custom logic and validation to meet specific business requirements. What step would you take to troubleshoot inventory discrepancies in SAP EWM? Answer to troubleshoot inventory discrepancies. Verify stock overview, check stock in the system using the stock overview report. Physical count, perform a physical inventory count to compare with system records. Review transaction logs, check for any recent moments or transaction that could have caused discrepancies. Correct discrepancies, adjust stock levels using inventory adjustment transaction it necessary. Describe how you would optimize warehouse layout in SAP EWM. Answer. Optimizing warehouse layout involves slotting and reslotting, regularly analyzing and adjusting product locations based on demand and turnover rates, ABC analysis, categorizing products into a, B, and C categories based on the important and frequency of moment. Utilizing storage types efficiently. Designating appropriate storage types for different product categories. Example, bulk storage for high volume items. Minimizing travel distance. Arranging storage locations to reduce travel time for picking and out away tasks. How does SAP EWM utilize real-time data for warehousing management? Answer: SAP EWM leverages real-time data through RF device using handled scanners to update inventory and task status in real-time. IoT integration, integrating with Internet of Things, IoT device for tracking goods and equipment. Live dashboards, providing real-time visibility into warehouse operations through dashboards and reports alert and notifications sending instant alerts and notifications for critical events such as low stocks levels or urgent orders what are the benefits of using ewm analytics and how can it improve warehouse operations answer ewm analytics provides insights into warehouse performance through performance matrix Tracking key performance indicators such as order fulfillment rates, picking efficiency, and inventory accuracy. Operational reports, generating reports on various aspects of warehouse operation to identify bottlenecks and inefficiencies. Productivity analytics, using historical data to forecast demand and optimize inventory levels. Continuous improvement. Enabling data-driven decision-making to enhance warehouse processes and reduce cost. How would you configure a physical inventory process in SAP EWM? Answer. Configuring a physical inventory process involves Defining inventory producers Setting up physical inventory producers and types Example, annual continuous cycle counting 
creating physical inventory documents, generating documents for counting specific storage bins or product categories, executing inventory counts, conducting counts using RF device or manual entry, posting difference, recording and posting inventory difference to update stock levels accurately. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.